them here. So a quick team diagnosis. We have Ha with five, is that five WZs? Five, five WZs, a bagel and a fox. While uh, 9TD is going with a fox, two ERCs, two, two WZs and two M60s. So Ha doesn't exactly have the greatest team diversity right now. To be honest, I would have swapped that bagel panzer for another fox. Uh, while, well, that was Ha. While well, 9TD has those two M60s, they have a pretty good team diversity, and they have better mobility with those two ERCs. So if that fox and those two ERCs can form into a wolf pack, they should be a very deciding force. What do you guys think? It's going to be quite a threat, actually. And if the red team knows about the slightly overpowered spot in the cap, it's going to be quite hard to root out the cap. I agree. Do you know where the spot is? Uh, I have an idea. It's with those red, green and white containers, the one that says logistics. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, so right now the Fox and the Babel cans are going off together uh, on Haas team, while the WZs look like they're going to enter the city, which is the best place for them. Uh, they should be able to take on uh, 90D in a straight fight. So let's hope they use those um, that that number and arm advantage to the best they can. Uh, 90D's ERC is of course moving up, while the Fox. I hope he realizes soon that um, <laughs> there's not going to be much to shoot at unless he can get some flanking fire in. That's what we have right now. So you have uh, those WZs just uh, kind of sitting there in the corner, to be honest. Um, while 90D's guys are kind of in a firing line. As usual, we're hoping for a brig brawling match. Ooh, someone took a very big hit, that's who it was. Ooh, it was uh, Plut Pluto. Pluto, there we go, the ninth planet has taken a pretty big hit, probably from an ERC or the Fox. So, some damage done at the start, but nothing really significant. Uh, although um, has scouting force has been driven off the hill for now and those WZs aren't exactly the greatest spotting vehicles in the world so if they lose that Fox it could be at a pretty big disadvantage An interesting place that uh, the G-Pods have dug themselves into Who's um, G-Pods? Blue ones Alright Oh god, we need those clan, clan names so, so badly. Would be nice if the devs could for you. Mm hmm. Oh, let's see what this fox, uh, dot fox is doing. I'm not sure if that fox can actually see them. Uh, if I was him, I'd be moving up a little right now um, to try and scout. If he can get the drop on those guys and scout them, then his team would have a massive um, information advantage. And especially in these kind of matchups. Uh, information can be just as important as positioning. What do you think about the vehicle diversity? Does it say something about power creep in the game? Are we even allowed to talk? What? The WZs? No, no, I mean just the general thing that we've only seen what, like, three types of tanks in this game so far in this tournament. Um, you'll get that with any game, is the um, competitive teams will choose uh, the vehicles that best suit their style of play or best suit the meta. Yeah, here's hoping that Obsidian creates many, many more tank, main battle tank lines in, lines in general. Just to give us, you know, the opportunity to choose, not just go, okay, this is quote unquote the best at tier 5, etc. Yeah, uh, that WZ is looking a little bit more pow powerful right now. Uh, of course, its weakness is the heat projectiles, but. He projectiles are a little iffy. Yeah, honestly, I mean, this is a competitive match. You need to do damage. AP is a reliable. Yes, position. I'm definitely hoping on these M60s to be able to go hold down somewhere. Alright, game's still in a little bit of a skirmish road right now. We've got 5 minutes and 50 seconds left. Ooh, that fox. What is that fox doing? He should not be running away. Oh, no, he isn't. Or is he? Yes, he's using those missiles. Let's jump to the M60 right now. 
Oh, it looks like that Fox has just wasted both of his missiles. A bit of a waste this point on an M60, especially against its turret with VRA. What? Later. About an hour, please. About an hour, please. Um, game's still in a bit of a skirmish mode, although it is nearing the five minute mark, and you know what happens when it gets to the five minute mark. We're starting to see it uh, go in. So, uh, do we have any background on um, either of these teams? No, but since you keep asking this, we are going to have a meeting after this competition is over. Us who organize the rooms, and we're going to set some ground rules. And we will definitely take into consideration that maybe the teams could write something about themselves. Um, to be honest, I would have it one team per clan, not multiple. So one team, one clan. Yes. Not like mixed like we have now. Well. Well, not like the 50 different teams from like two clans or whatever it is. I mean, because right now we've got 9TD and then we've got 9TD. We've got that Sumo clan as well, which is apparently part of 9TD or 9TD is part of the Sumo clan. I'm not sure. Um, but they should be only one team per clan. Oh, a little bit of a skirmish pun. Yes, putting pressure on the cat. But those WZs, oh, if they can get them rolling, they might be able to sweep all our, all our position. Oh, the fox is down. Looks like he tried to make an unsuccessful bush attack. Uh, the Bagel Panzer, of course, Stein as well with him, since they were buddy buddying up. Uh, ooh, let's have a look. Which means the G parts have their backs wide open. Oh, they do. And it lo looks like the Fox and uh, those ERCs are going to be taking care of this soon. The Fox should hopefully be switching to his missiles right now to do the most amount of damage he can do. Come on, man. Yes, there he goes. Boom. Oh, oh well. But he is proving a giant distraction for those WZs right now. Look at him. Oh. Almost. Almost, but not quite. Damn, it looks like Ha. And now Overlance and those MBTs have absolutely really screwed them over in this one. Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Oh, it looks like he's probably going to go for that Fox first. Fox, of course, loading in his anti tank. Well, or he isn't. He's pro the WZ is probably gonna kill him. There we go. Bit of a uh, not exactly the greatest. Rank kill, that would have been the play of the tournament. Yes, bro. yes, I would have definitely have put that one in. And it looks like, well, to be honest, a pretty skilled victory. We're I mean, not exactly bloodless, but Jesus Christ, I'm I'm actually quite impressed by 9TD's victory here.